Well, hi guys, welcome to the session. My name's Paul, this is Plan Z. Hopefully this finds you very well. Now in today's little Holloway session, what I'd like to try and do is sound check an amp I've not uh, sound checked yet in my Boss GT1000. Well, I kind of I brushed across it in a couple of sessions um, over the last few weeks, but it's the matchless amp. I'm gonna be doing a deep dive settings video into the GT1000 on this. And this is kind of to kind of sound check really uh, that amp before I dive in and kind of commit to settings with people. Um, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the neck pickup, we're on a low gain matchless. Let's uh, bypass the looper. Now the GT1000 is the heart of the rig. I'm going to be looping using an RC600, which hopefully you can see on the floor. We've got an RC505 here. Now the RC505 is prepared with some loops. So I've got a blank loop. I've got some clicky sticks. And I've got two synth bass lines here using the SY300 and the HXFX. Okay. And we've got some effects we can put on those. Over here on the RC600, we've got a blank loop likewise, and that will trigger these when I trigger it. I've also got two bass lines, uh, bass line one, bass line two, one's on an eight round measure, one's on a two round measure, and I'm gonna try taking the loops. This isn't a, an arrangement, this isn't going to be like a performance, this is just going to be I want to stack the loops up and see how they sound together. We've got a couple of beats here that are in uh, multi-mode, um, but these are in single mode, these two bass tracks. I've also got another, another blank loop here which is an 8 bar round to go with my 8 round measure. Okay, so I've got those up and running at the moment. Let's start out by trying a patch here where I'm going to use just the wet channel of the GT1000. Now the GT1000 is rooted so my sub outs deal with my wets from GT1000, so that's reverbs, delays, things like that. Goes into the mixer there, into the loopers, and then off to the mixer under here where it goes USB into the phone to you. Now, the dry channel guitar channel, which is a low gain goes into two notes from my main outs and then into the mixer, okay? But from two notes, I've got another output there, so I've got two outputs there, one dry and the wet one goes into here, so I can add a reverb here. Okay? Or I can add reverb here. Now this reverb's got distortions, um, Got distortion, reverb, delay, and uh, a ring modulator. Uh, I'm going to use that at the beginning of the track, but I'm going to use only that, not the dry channel. I'm going to record this onto the RC505. Let's see how we get on. Isolate the synth and we'll only hear the synth. Okay, let's take a loop of that. Now I'm going to go to a driven medium game. Let's say uh, direct this now. We're going to get slightly fuller signal. This is going 
going to uh, the RC600. Using the uh, GT1000, I'm going to have that fade off behind me and bring in the synths. but engaging the synths without any uh, filters on them. I'm going to disengage from my wet. I think I'm just going to come in on the back pickup using a driven medium gain. Yes, 
Okay, I'm gonna end that little jam there. Um, let's come out of that mode there. Be interesting to hear it back in the, uh, the playback. Um, the the mash list felt much fuller compared to when I was jamming before with the um, uh, with the Vox amp, the AC30. So yeah, be interesting to hear that on playback. Um, hope you well. Hopefully you enjoyed the session. Take care. Bye bye.